during the war, you know, Mr. Eames molded designs were uh, they were adapted for splints, weren't That's they, correct. for the boys? That and then the... um, you continued along with your designs after that. Is there a basic theory of design for your chairs? Is there a basic theory you could talk to us about? Well, uh... There, there's one. I don't know that I can talk about it. There's, uh, that is, the, the attitude in all of them is, is really the same. We've never designed for a fashion or with the idea of fitting in a fashion. And the uh, Herman Miller Furniture Company has never, ever uh, requested that uh, we do pieces for a market mm -hmm. or for an annual thing, which is... is you really create your own market, don't you? Yes, and the, the timing is more or less our own. Sometimes it's too too slow, but we are allowed then to follow it through. We do the graphics and presentation. Yes, you say it's too slow, and yet you've done so much and so many and so much sooner than most people have. Uh, designing interesting furniture, of course, is only part of the work that uh, Charles and Ray Eames do. As I remember, your house uh, shows very well the way you feel about living and the problems of design. And I think if we could see some pictures, uh, Mr. Eames will tell us a little bit about the house. Here we are, Charles. Well, uh, Ray, uh, Ray and I worked on it. We designed it together, of course. Uh, uh, recently, we've made a film on the house. And it's been uh, released at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm -hmm. It's a series of, of films. The, uh, the music for it was composed by Elmer Bernstein. It's a yes. marvelous thing. Elmer just, uh, he did the uh, Man with the Golden Arm. Oh, and, and the music marvelous for the house. score it is, Fantastic. yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's this all... This is beautiful and airy looking, isn't it, in this picture? Well, we think so. It's sort of gotten to be like an old cave for us, <laughs> but... Uh, they're, it's composed of uh, standard factory units. Standard factory units that don't look very standard or very factory in those pictures. That's what your beautification has done for them, you and Ray. Uh, you've also done some of the most fascinating toys, not only for children, but for grown-ups as well. And uh, we have something here. I wish you'd just tell us about it, will you? Well, it's, it's, it's a house of cards done from things mainly picked up around our own house. So uh -huh. just... You home. mean the designs on the cards? Yeah. Uh, and this is sold to buy for children to build their own private houses Children, with. yes, but there's no limit on the uh -huh. age, of course. Adults are children <laughs> anyway in many respects, aren't they? And, of course, you've been working on the picture, The Spirit of St. Louis. I'm curious about what you did precisely in that, with that picture, Charles. Well, uh, I worked with Billy Wilder, the director. He's a, a great man, and Indeed. it's going to be a, a, a real good picture. Uh -huh. I, I did make the furniture for Jimmy Stewart. Or anything like that. <laughs> well, I was working with Billy and, uh, and then directed for him some second unit work, mainly the construction of the aeroplane. Uh -huh. Is it going to be an exact replica of the one that's in the Smithsonian? Well, uh, Charles Lindbergh couldn't tell the difference. Uh -huh. Well, <laughs> if he can't tell the difference, it must be pretty accurate. Uh, Charles, we know about the materials that uh, you have used for your chairs and that they're basically molded wood and plastics, as you've shown us, and fiberglass and wire and so forth and some upholstered parts. But I think now it would be very nice if we can preview your newest chair. Why don't we just go up here and have a little preview of this. Well, that is quite a departure, Charles, and it looks wonderfully comfortable. Tell us something about it. Well, I, it's uh, rosewood plywood, and it's black leather, and its insides are all feathers and down. But I think it would be a better idea if, if we would just build it for you right here and, and you could see something about it. Can we see this being built? Well, pattern, all right, I let's put so. it together.
saying to Charles that I expected when the man's face turned around it was going to be Charlie Chaplin or somebody. <laughs> Didn't it look exactly like those old movies in the... the uh... This is a typical Herman Miller <laughs> employee. <laughs> well, it's just great. You know, I remember a quotation about this unusual couple that I read some time ago. I think describes it beautifully. I may not remember it accurately, but it said that it's Eames desire to move freely in a world of enormous and unlimited possibilities is combined with a very accurate sense of discrimination and taste, which of course we always see. This is an ability to select among the unlimited possibilities and return considerable richness to the world, which you both have done. And thank you for being thank here you. and showing us your things this morning. Thank you.